About two months ago, I did something pretty irresponsible. I bought a VIP ticket to the Southwest Actors Conference, but I bought it with my credit card because there were only 25 VIP tickets and I thought, okay, plan A, I figure out a way to afford this trip or plan B, I sell it because there's only 25 tickets and somebody's bound to want to buy it. I do want to go to the conference for myself because I want to see what it's about, but because I have a YouTube channel and I try to share my experiences as an actor, I thought even better, I can share about it on my channel and then for people that couldn't afford to go this year or were on the fence about whether they wanted to go, was it going to be worth it, I can film it and share everything about it and get the full experience through the VIP ticket. Somebody commented, you should do a fundraiser and we can donate money so you can go. Well. I tried that and I fundraised a little bit over $500, but the problem with that is that um, other than my goal was $1,500, was that over $300 of that money were mine. I do want to say thank you so, so much to those people that did donate because there were a few people that donated money that didn't know me personally, so thank you so much. But regardless, I didn't... Um, I, I didn't meet my goal of $1,500. About a month ago, I told my fiance I'm not going. I, it's just irresponsible. I don't have the money. I don't want to put the airplane ticket and the hotel room and the food and the Ubers on my credit card. Like, I'm just not going to go. And he said, and I truly believed I wasn't going to go. But he said, yes, you are going. And he was right. I'm going. I'm going to tell you how I was able to afford going to the conference, but I'm going to tell you in tomorrow's video because for now I really need to pack. I leave tomorrow morning and I just want to make sure that I have everything because I am not just going for myself. I also want to tell you all about it. I really can't believe this is happening, but I'm going. If you have any questions, if you are one of those actors that couldn't make it this year, because I almost did not make it this year, please let me know what questions you have, specifically like what things you're curious about, about the conference, what did happen, what didn't. I'm going to give you my experience. It's my experience. I'm sure there's going to be people that hate it and I'm sure there's going to be people that changes their lives. You know, everybody's going to have a different experience. I'm going to give you mine and try to be as honest as possible of what I'm experiencing. So please ask me all of the questions so that I can give you the information because I know this is expensive. I know that I'm so lucky that I'm able to go. So I want to be able to share as much as I can. So let's get packing. The conference is two days, but the first day it's a couple of hours of a mixer. The attire is supposed to be cocktail. So I'm gonna wear this blue dress that I have with some heels, some hoops, you know, keep it cute but simple. This will be fine, it's nice and long. I don't wanna be too like exposed. And then the second day is going to be a very long day from 7 a.m. to um, 5.30 p.m. So I want to be comfortable. So I'm going to wear some loafers and Bella Hibbs, the creator of the conference, said it's supposed to be trendy professional. So I got like a very comfortable, trendy-ish outfit, mostly focused on comfortability because it's a long day. I feel uncomfortable being naked in hotels. So I'm gonna make sure I have like my robe and my pajamas. I also have to pack my skates. I'm in the middle of this challenge that I'm doing where I'm skating every day until I get cast in a role where I skate. So I have to pack these giant skates, which is the main reason why I'm taking a suitcase and a backpack. There's a couple of things I need to do in order to prep for the mixer and for the conference in general. The first thing is I'm going to make a link tree and create a QR code to put as my screensaver. That way when I meet people at the conference, they can just scan my phone and they can see my YouTube, IMDB, and Instagram and we can connect, which I think is a really fun idea. I'm stealing this idea from my friend Javi. We're creating Pizza Monster, um, the short film, and when we were doing our crowdfunding campaign, he went to a mixer and he saved the QR code as a screensaver so people could just like donate if they asked about it. They're like, Oh, give me a link. It's like, scan my phone. I have the code. Scan it. Let's see if it works. Did it work? Let me grab my boyfriend's phone so I can see if it works. Did I just call him my boyfriend? My fiance. Okay, here's my fiance's phone. And here's my screensaver. Let's click on a link just to make sure. 
Yep. And I also need to cash out with Koji because I need that money um, for food and travel and stuff. So I'm gonna cash out. I think that's all the packing for now. I will pack my toiletries in the morning so that um, I can brush my teeth and stuff. I don't know how I feel about this montage thing with music, so I'm just gonna talk for a little bit. I ended up skating because I realized I don't need to bring my skates. I'm technically going to be back Saturday night, so I'll be able to skate. Um, and then I went to the airport entirely too early, but it's okay. I booked the flight really early in case there were any delays, cancellations, so that I could still make it to the conference. And I got this entire exit row two-seater thing to myself, and it was amazing. I'm on the airplane, and I'll see you guys in Arizona. Okay, here's a little music with uh, traveling. <laughs> 